Hello everyone! Welcome back to another spicy Tempest Trial video. So today's team, we're gonna be going with Girls Night Out and I guess Martha's the chaperone. You know, the standard set for Deirdre, just destroy everything with AoEs. Then we got the maid that does all the heavy lifting. Eflin, our healer, and then Marth, I just gave him his set from AR so he can gale force around and save me some time. Oh, first things first, let's look at the rewards. First up is Warding Blow. Now, I don't want people to sleep on this skill because this can actually be really, um, really useful in, I guess, ether raids. Like, imagine a, a Sonya. Instant Glacy Sonya. Just give her, whoops, just give her, like, the inventory pulse and then her, her A skull can be, like, her standard. I think she comes with Mirror Strike. Well, imagine packing another plus... Was it plus six or plus seven? To her res, so that's gonna be a really hard nuking Glacies. Or just something with Iceberg. Just don't sleep on this, okay? I know it's not... It's not like sturdy blow or anything, but this can be really good in ether aids. So just be warned that you'll probably see this in ether aids. And then next up is steady posture. I love these dual, dual like enemy phase skills. I run um, what's the other one? S swift swift stance. For AR, that one's really good because um, it gives plus 4 speed and res on enemy phase. So this is also really good too. I'm a big fan of these skills, so... I can see this being useful on like... Hmm, maybe like Braveback or something, some sort of tank or something. I might even con no, I was gonna say I might consider putting on either Deirdre or Julia, but I just like my Swift, my Swift stance a lot more since res is the main stat you need in AR. Then we got um, Winter Jafar. Now I know people like comparing him to Winter Cecilia. And I know Winter Cecilia is still kind of a superior option if you may say since she is colorless. Meaning she has no weakness but I wouldn't sleep on Jafar either because green is also a really good um, color to tank in AR. Now, it could have been worse if he was like a blue dagger unit or a red dagger unit. Like, I can see problems with that already, but, um, don't sleep on green. That's all I'm saying. Green is also a good defensive color. And he has pretty good speed at base 37. So he has 35, 37 offense spread. Which is good for an armor unit. Like, I <laughs> remember when armor units were slow. That didn't age well at all. And while he does have less res than um, Winter Cecilia, he's still a good, he can be a good um, viable AR tank in um, AR, really. His skills are just really simple. It's just death res spawn, which is eh. It's nice to have that as a, I guess, a free-to-play option. Then he has goat armor, but oh, I haven't seen a goat armor in ye years Mostly ward armor stacking. So he's a good unit. I mean, I'm sick and tired of winter units being armored, but Jafar is good. I'll just say that. He's good. So he's a good option to invest in, really. If you don't feel like using Winter Cecilia, I wouldn't sleep on him either. Okay, and finally, the big skill right here Distant Guard. I didn't think something as good as a skill like this can ever become a seal. But here it is. Just wait for people to start using like a meme distant guard like 9 or something with Renea because of her weapon. So imagine getting like plus... What is it? Plus... Plus like 12 to, <laughs> to the fence in res. Or... If people are really feeling it, they can just put this on, give Peony Renea's um, weapon and then give her distant guard and then give her this distant guard as a seal since you're going to have a dancer 
providing all these buffs, so I can imagine seeing this in offense AR, really. Or maybe even in defense. Now, after getting my thoughts on the seals, with you. let's start this map. I guess I'll just turn it on to save me some time. Okay, first I should just get the big thing out of the right. way and yeah. talk about As you say. <laughs> we can win. Winter Sothis, who literally broke the BST cap at 185. Like, <laughs> oh my god, I guess, what were you thinking? <sighs> well, she comes with a 35-41 offensive spread. Isn't she literally as fast as Marita? Like, an armor unit is literally as fast as the fastest okay. unit in the game, really? Yeah. So, oh, I guess, why? <laughs> why did you break the 180 BST? What should I do? Now we won't really rust. Together. I'll go with you. Of course. Anyway, she comes with... Her weapon called Snow's Grace, which it once again neutralizes her her dragon weakness. Not only that, already grants her plus three speed as it is, and her effect is if her HP is greater than fifty percent, she gets attack speed, defense, and rest plus five during combat, which is already insane. Like I can just you're basically gonna be seeing Tank Sothis as like um. Yes. An AR offense unit because her weapon condition isn't hard to trigger, really. So imagine this stacked with like um Understood. Stacked with like visible buffs from like being smited by something. And then you can just have no, imagine having Caden with her. <laughs> so this is just gonna be a lot, a lot of stats on her. And they don't even have to be visible either. I mean, at least she doesn't get like. What should I do? <laughs> she's not getting bonus doubler or something. <laughs> Cause that would just be insane. Anyway, she comes with distant counter. So while trading her um. Together we can win. Her original weapon effect, where she can counter regardless of range. Right here, she has to stick with distant counter. Or really, I can just see people taking off distant counter and putting fortress death res on her, like they do with As um. Mirror, um, Halloween mirror. So, yeah, imagine something with 30 35 defenses getting another, um, four death res. So, that's like what another six, and then add something like plus 10. So, that's another plus four to the stats, and then her weapon thing, which is another plus five to the stats. So, basically, she's just a of course, a really disgusting stat bot. <sighs> then they gave her special fighter, which is. Pretty much, I think it's the strongest fighter skill, really, because just getting the plus one special cooldown and then inflicting the minus one charge on the foe. And since she's fast enough to make use of it, she'll probably have she'll have no problem basically making the full use of it. I'll go with you. And she comes to a threatened attack res, which is eh. Huh. She pretty much have to work with positioning, but nah, who cares? That's probably gonna be replaced with something else, really. So yeah, another, we just have to welcome our lolly armor dragon overlord. Nothing we can really do about it. <laughs> Who's next here? Okay, we have Winter Nino, who basically just power crept um, Valentine's Lynn, since she comes with a 35-41 offensive spread. What should I do? So... I think that just makes her plain better than, um, Valentine Slim, really. Yeah. And her weapon is one of those weapons that, um... That if you just deal damage, you get 5 HP back to your unit. And it says even if you deal 0 damage... Hmm... <laughs> this is pretty much the same as the, um... Those spring we weapons from, like... <laughs> The first year where they restore damage after you initiate combat. Hmm. I feel like the other, the egg weapons might be a bit more better in, in that regard. Anyway, she comes with, um, Rally Attack Res, which is, I guess, a, a 
fodder school if people still care about Arena. Imagine still caring about Arena. <laughs> then she comes with attack speed form. Which is much more stronger than, um, what's the other one that we've had before? It was like speed death form or something. This shouldn't be hard to, um, trigger really. This might just be the strongest of the home skills. Then she comes with Bold Fighter, which I don't understand why they felt the need to give a unit with 41 base speed Bold Fighter. Like, she's better off getting Special Fighter, but we couldn't give her that because it's just too much power. <laughs> then she comes with Armor March. I'll go with you. Which is, well, you know, standard for armors. She's always the one that has to come with Armor March. So yeah, basically she's just a power corrupt. Um, Valentine's Lynn, really. <laughs> What's to say? She also has 34 res and 26 defense. Oh, wait, no. I'm looking 22 defense and 31 res. Whoops. I was to say, that's a little too good. Understood. Who's next? Winter Zephiel. I think he's like the. Kind of like the Together. overlooked unit. Because he's just another red armor unit. With a lot of defense, he has 38, 36 defenses, and then he has 38 attack at base. And this weapon is also one of those, um, okay. those healing weapons, the same as Nino's effect, and it comes with Glaces. Hmm, they gave him Glaces instead of, like, Ignis, okay. Of course. What can you really do? And then he comes with Ventral Fighter, which is good for him because he's slow as heck. Then he comes with Death Res Gap. Um, I don't really see anyone talking about these skills. I don't think they're all that, um, good in a way. I don't really see them being used in, um, or even talked about really because it's just kind of, kind of hard to trigger if, um, If you can't get your um, calculations right for like units or something, My hmm. has arrived. no, I might be replaced with something else. And Corin almost died to this claw. Jesus. Hope we don't get attacked. Oh, sorry. Yes. Just heal up. But yeah, I'm not really sure what to say about Zephyr. I think he's like the most overshadowed unit in this banner. I mean, we already have Black Knight, who's a free-to-play unit. So nah, I don't really see many people pulling for this Zeth, y'all. He's kind of like a power, slightly power crep version of his original, of vanilla Zeth, y'all. He just has more res, really. <laughs> oh my goodness, he just power crept himself, okay. What is he, like 12 and he already sounds like a grown man? <laughs> when I heard the voice, I was like, what? <laughs> I never played Blazing Blade, okay, so I have no idea how old he is. But yeah, just, hmm, not really the best unit. What else? What else? All right. Last but not least is our duo, the duo heroes of this time, Martha and Elise. What should I do? So he's basically... He has 36 41 offenses, which makes him. Is he like the fastest armor unit in the game? Type of or something? Because his weapon, Tangresnir, it already it gives him plus 3 extra speed. And if he has any like bonus active on okay, him, he gets another. Um, he gets plus 3 to all stats. And he gets um, a special cooldown charge for each attack. So, woof. There is no need to make him this fast. And then a special is Fire Emblem. Together we can win. I'll go with you. Which is the same as his um legendary version. And he also comes with attack yeah. speed form, which is pretty deadly considering it's kinda easy to position yourselves to be able to get the full boost of this attack. And he comes with a new fighter skill called Daring Fighter. So with this. He neutralizes, um, 
basically the enemy's effect of not letting the user follow up, so he can pretty much bypass um, Worry Fighter, and since that turns into a speed check, he can just, um, and since he's already fast enough, he's gonna have no problem triggering his Daring Fighter. And basically, if his HP gets less than 80% and he initiates combat, he can make a follow-up attack. So, Matt, it's like a... It's like a fighter skill with, like, the effects of desperation in it. As you say. Yes? If that makes any sense. Now, I thought... At first, I was really afraid of this skill. Because I just read the... the you can basically initiate a follow-up attack before the um, Vulcan counterattack, and I was like, oh no, this is like... <laughs> it's like having, like, a brain effect, but... I wasn't aware that this um, relied on speed. So, not many armor units can make use of this. Basically, it's only like Marth and the Winter Nino. What should I do? That can oh, really pull sorry. this off. I'll go with you. I don't see, you won't see Effie doing this, or yeah. Sheena doing this, or like Duma doing this, but it doesn't matter because he has Bolt Fighter, and that makes him already dangerous as it is. Like, it'd be something like Tiki, Legendary Tiki, or um, the Fallen Tiki. But, um, no, I'm not particularly afraid yes. of it anymore. Anyways, I'm going to destroy the Sophus. Your lack of dragon effect in this will not save you from this ah. Book of Naga ass whooping. Anyways, back to Marth. He comes with Joint Hone Speed, which is, Here I go. once again, will be easy to proc, and it synergizes well with um his attack speed form. Together, we can win. So that's basically gonna make everyone fast. And then his um his dual skill basically grants um bonus doubler to armored and flying allies, which is uh... Together. I guess since um those units don't get access to um bonus dub doubler naturally, I guess this is a way to compensate for it, but yeah. Ah. I mean, he also grants, um, he gives the units attack speed, death rest, plus three. So, yeah. You can just expect to see this with, like, imagine this with, like, Kanegus. And then you have, like, Kaden right there, and then you just proc this. So not, I think not only is he gonna get the bonus doubler effect, but he's gonna get Kaden's effect. <laughs> So he's basically going to be an even more of a super tank than he already is. But ugh. <laughs> there is no reason to make him this fast, really. It's like... Why even make them armors of... Ah. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I'm feeling this... I don't know. I'm not really impressed by, um... Any... Any of the armor seasons, because it's just always an armor unit. And the, you all know the just with armor units. But, uh, you know what What I really want to see? Something realistic. Okay, they can make this an armor unit, but how about make an armor unit with a snow shovel and just make them so slow? Because <laughs> shoveling snow is so awful and the shovels wait a lot. Why haven't they been that concept yet? Make someone with like a snow shovel, make them super slow. And just make the weapon effect like if unit initiates combat, it puts like a gravity effect on the enemy. Cause there's no escaping from snow. I'm just really salty about snow, okay? Cause I have to shovel. <laughs> and it's not fun shoveling, especially when the shovel itself weighs like 15 pounds or like 20 pounds. Okay? <laughs> so come on, IS, make a an armor unit with a snow shovel and make them slow. <laughs> then I'll be able to buy into um, getting a winter unit because right now it's like, eh. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my, um, my really half-assed review of these winter units. All in all, just accept Winter Sothis as our armored dragon lolly overlord. Don't fight it. <laughs> Get ready to see that in AR as an AR offense unit. 
If you probably look, you can probably see the whales that already plus 10 her to see her full potential. Good for them. So yeah, I think that's it, really. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm probably gonna have to grind so I can get that sweet, sweet distant guard seal. Good luck with everyone um, in your Tempest Trials. I hope it goes smoothly for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye-bye.